Okay, Celius. Celius, you're gonna slip, Celius. <gasps> oh, yep. You can snap ropes with weight. So obbies are too easy, and we are going to fix that with this module I am working on named obby hell mode. And there are a few features I want to get to work on, such as breaking bones, slippery ice, momentum, uh, being able to punch other people, melting on hot materials, rope tension, and spikes that work anywhere. So what that means basically is like, if you literally just make a part and make it sharp, even somewhat sharp, if you fall too fast on it, it will uh, like, it'll like impale you. So that's what I'm going to get to work on, and then I'm going to uh, get real players to go through the go through the obstacle course overall this will just be really convenient to have and be able to put this in any obby segment of any future games or just anything at all so i'm uh, i'm excited to work on these physics i'm gonna get started on breaking bones so i'll come back when i think that's done Okay, so I got a lot done with the module. You'll notice a a, a certain little um certain little interface that that appears, uh, signaling that something might might be enabled. So hmm, why why could there be uh, why could there be hearts and a bones broken meter? That's just that's just ridiculous. You can't break your bones in this game. But uh, yeah, what? That that's so ridiculous. I'm just gonna do this obby like like normal. Oh, I got to the top. Well, guess I should jump down. What the? Ow! Four joints have been broken? Wait, I, I guess that makes sense. That was kind of a high, high, a high fall. Uh, wait, why is one of these hearts blacked out? I, I broke a few more joints and, uh, it, it's kind of harder to jump. <laughs> well, I guess I should step down. Uh, I have a strange urge to run into a wall at a very high velocity. Ah! Oh, that was my head that time. Okay, yeah, so. Okay, now I'm gonna add this ice and momentum, so be right back. All right, we're back, and there's some interesting new updates. So, firstly, there's a hidden momentum mechanic, and if we, uh, if we just run in a straight line, um, well, we probably shouldn't hit a wall, but okay yeah as you can see there our speed built up over time only by a little bit but yeah that's what happens if you run uh run for run for a while without stopping and normally if you hit a wall while running it only takes away one heart but if you build up enough speed you uh perish but the other thing and the much more interesting mechanic that was added was uh slipping so in in normal obbies um oh <laughs> God damn it in normal obbies um you can you can kind of like go to the edge uh if you want to make a long jump go to the very very edge and even tip over the edge a bit which i think is ridiculous and doesn't fit the laws of physics so uh if you if you try that um if you try tipping over the edge oh <laughs> you, you don't want to you don't want to pull that pull that stunt um this is especially an issue if you're <laughs> if you're up quite high you might want to <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, also, I added uh, bodies remain after you die. Just, just as a fun little visual. Oh, you can stand on them, too. That might be a strategy some people employ is uh, killing people and, <laughs> and standing on them. Lastly, there is one other cool thing I need to show you. So this module auto adjusts any parts um, that have the material set to ice or glacier. So I'm going to set this to ice and not even do anything to it. I'm just going to anchor it and check this out. If you walk on it or run on it, whoa it, it, it's slippery and uh yeah it does this for any part throughout the entire game <laughs> so yeah i find that really cool especially since you don't have to do anything to it you just set the material to ice and it uh, applies the physics already so yep th th those are the changes to the to the death mode and uh, i still want to add more like uh being able to hit people <laughs> hot surfaces and uh rope tension so back uh back to work well 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 it looks like we have some uh neon and cracked lava parts but uh they are lacking a uh, kill script of any kind and uh in, in the game code there's nothing that says it should kill you if you touch it so uh let me just double check okay we have it selected and it has no children okay this is actually this can literally be walked on i think so um well uh, i suppose if it's safe i can just enjoy a walk oh what how did it do that? Okay, yeah, so as you can see, the module now uh, automatically tunes every part that is neon or cracked lava to uh, do that upon a... Uh uh, upon contact so uh that's a that's a lovely addition but an even uh an even better addition is when uh you know how there's like annoying people on obstacle courses sometimes where they, they stand in front of something or obscure some kind of object well uh if you didn't pick up already there's a new tool that every player is granted with uh if the module is activated <laughs> 
Oh. You, you you can now do this at at any time as long as uh, death mode is enabled on your uh, on your obby. That's not even the uh, that's not even the best edition. So some uh, some courses tend to have uh, little rope segments, right? These usually aren't very realistic, and uh, I kind of have a problem with that. So you know this this can hold us up because it's just one person on here, right? Well, if you have a high enough velocity and you land on something attached to a rope, the rope will actually snap, which I think is really cool. This took forever. So I think if we just jump we should have enough speed to snap the rope on the bottom let's see oh yep you can snap ropes with weight now and uh it'll automatically reset itself too and this actually has no code in it this is all handled by the module as well so i think that's really convenient if we go to here we can see all that is uh childed to the to the part is the attachment and the rope so the module handles that all by itself and that behavior will trigger if there's three players on the same rope part or if uh one player just falls on it really really fast so i think i'm almost done with this this custom difficulty i uh want to add one last feature which is uh spikes that work anywhere so what i mean by that is if i for example make something like this just place down a part and change its size to something like this and simply landing on it will uh impale you and that's all you need to do i want to do something like that so basically very very narrow objects can be lethal if landed on is what I is what I want to do. So I'll see you in a bit when that is done. Oh, look at these. Look at oh, look at these perfectly nice thin uh parts. If we if we uh if we highlight them, they look like just normal parts, no children. So uh I think I'll uh, go go touch them for some reason. Um wait, what? Nothing nothing bad happened? Oh, wait, I didn't actually think I would survive. Well, uh I'm going to go touch them vertically. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to go touch them vertically. What could go wrong? Oh, again, again. <laughs> Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> yep. Any any part that you uh create, uh it doesn't even have to have anything inside of it. If you just make a part and uh it's this shape, you better not fall on it. Uh is all I'll say. Uh yeah. So, if the uh if the module is enabled, any any part in the entire world that is like that will have that property. So, uh, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Well, anywho, I think all the features of this module that I wanted to add are complete, and it's it's so simple to enable. Look, all you need to do is require it and enable it, and your world will have all the changes applied to any anything and everything that could uh, need it. So what I think I want to do with this is set up like a, a real obstacle course as a game, and I want to see how a big group of people would behave in it, and if it's even possible. So uh, I'm going to go cook up some, some sort of course. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back. Oh god, I have to be quiet so my roommates don't hear this horrid voiceover. Hey guys, it is me, Carmilla Carmine from Has Brown Motel. As a Dude. <laughs> As a reward for being nominated baddest character in all of fiction, I get the honor of telling you to sub, sub and join Discord. Join the Discord. That is it, that is it for this break. You may leave. You I, I mean, you may continue the the video. Okay, we have an official server going. Uh, I enabled the module, so uh, all of the changes will be applied. And we're gonna see who can, uh, just as a test, who can make it through the whole course I have set up first. So starting off here, we have the uh, the, the spike pit. Um, I'm pretty sure you can guess what happens if you go through there. I believe I set their size thin enough to uh, impale anyone who, who, does, uh, who falls there. Then we have the tense walkway, as I call it, where I hold up a bridge segment right here, but they can and will snap then we go over here to the neon the neon parts that will burn away any any limbs that touch them we have an ice walkway right here we have a speedy runway right here and uh this is designed to build up enough momentum so that people will slam into these walls and die then we have the the dissension uh where um people will slip and fall into this bed of spikes down here but in case they don't they go over here and then they have to deal with this uh this is by far the worst part, but anyway, if they get through all of that, they'll win, and then they'll win uh, 10,000 Robux, so <laughs> just just having them waiting, uh, we're already seeing quite a bit of violence. <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit of violence at the at the spawn area why are you guys killing each other all right so despite the mass slaughtering that's occurring at spawn <laughs> I, I guess i'll just uh i'll just um open open the gates and see how they do so go 
Oh god. Okay, so the ropes are already not holding up very well. Oh god, there's just a pool of bodies. <laughs> Too many people are trying to use the roped parts at once. <laughs> this is such a gruesome scene. They're just slamming into the stone walls. I love the little cluster of impaled bodies down. <laughs> Oh my, the ropes, they are trying to hold too many people at once. We have Celius crossing, crossing the wood. Okay, okay, watch out for that neon. Oh my god, Celius. That was hard to watch. Um. Oh, that was a very quick leap by Greetings Cheese. He may have a broken arm, but he can actually do this. Greetings, cheese, go! No, you slammed into the stone wall! What did you think was going to happen? Okay, I'll help you guys out. What if I try to bring them all past the first, oh, past the first obstacle? Let's, uh, oh no. Oh no! That was horrible, I forgot. It calculates teleports as going extremely fast, so it instantly shatters all their bones if you teleport people. <laughs> I really love how the bodies stack up. I think that's a really good feature. This is so hard to watch. No one stands a chance. This is actually so bad. This young gentleman is on the ice bridge. Okay, add poop mode. Poop mode. What do you mean by poop mode? It covers the map in poop. Trust. Okay, this, this man has big ideas, but he's he's not locked in. He needs to go cross the ice bridge. Oh. <laughs> he just ran into that guy and killed him. Celius. Celius is back. Oh, this is a new record for him. Okay, we got a tense little rope segment. Nice. He didn't he didn't jump on it too hard. He's waiting for the wall. Nice. The neon. Go. Go, go, go. Go, go, Celius. Go. Serious? Oh, you took some damage there, but you, sh you should be fine. Ran into the wall a little bit too quick. Oh. Oh, Flubberdart. <laughs> Flubberdart has no arms. Why does this guy look like a creeper? <laughs> I hate you. You look like a creeper. <laughs> what, what, what will he do? You are blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, he's making a run for it. <gasps> he's at the slowly descend segment. Oh no. <laughs> a brutal loss. He, he was the furthest one. All he had left was this. Okay, Celius. Celius, your leg is over the ledge. You're gonna slip. I still think it's way too sensitive, but people are actually getting far this time, including uh, R D D R R two D six. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the tripping is what's getting a lot of people. Fire ant ruler. Uh, not one person has survived this. I don't. I don't know if you have what it takes. <laughs> what are you? What? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> okay, Goku. 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 Come on, Goku. You can do this. Just do, you fool. Go down. <laughs> it never gets old. R2D6 Pro and Ren are actually making it to the end? <gasps> Ren! Ren, you did it! Good job, Ren. He will go to the winning island now and, and, and get his prize. Uh, his real prize is actually a bomb that destroys everything, as we will see in a second. Uh-oh. <laughs> Say goodbye, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Initially, I made it way too difficult and sensitive, but I did turn it down quite a lot. So yeah, I think it's uh, it's pretty cool and actually really fun to watch with a large amount of players. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Without you, I don't want to lose you.